Hey all here, OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Revo Next QT2. At 50 bucks, they're one of the least expensive pair of triple driver IEMs in your monitors slash earbuds that you'll find on the market. Competitors include brands like KZ, which is based in Shenzhen, and One More. But One More is a little bit more well known now because of their collaboration with Xiaomi, and their triple driver earbuds, for instance, sell upwards of $100, so these are half the price. Now we can take a closer look at the packaging. It claims to have two dynamic drivers and one balanced armature to deliver great audio quality. So typically, smaller in-ear style headphones don't sound as impressive as larger units, just because it's difficult to pack you know, large drivers and impressive sound into something so small. But over the past few years, uh, the technology has gotten progressively better. Now, in terms of specifications, we have a frequency range of 7 to 40,000 hertz, which is very wide, and it has a cable length of 1.2 meters long, which is average. It uses a standard 3.5 millimeter connection. The company is based in Sweden, but uh, they are manufactured in China. So here we have the packaging. There is a quick user guide that is documented both in China Chinese, Korean, Japanese, and in English, and we also have the earbuds right on top. They have a very sharp angular look, and they're crafted out of aluminum alloy, so it reminds me kind of of gamer gear. There's also some spare silicone tips to get a more comfortable fit, but you don't get any comply foam tips included. That's one area where they were able to cut down on costs a little bit. There's also two versions of these uh, IEMs, one which doesn't come with an inline remote slash microphone, and one which does, uh, has about a $5 price difference. So here is the included cable, which is detachable. It's modular in that sense, so that if the cable fries or breaks down, you're able to swap it with another one. You don't have to throw out the entire headphones. Our version here does come included with an inline remote, which you can use to play pause your music, along with a microphone for answering phone calls. The cable itself is coated in a layer of acrylic, which makes it a bit more resistant to uh, you know getting worn out, but it's a round wire as opposed to a flat ribbon wire. So the connectors pop in very snugly, and there's even some textures which make it easier to pull out and in without damaging the wire itself. You can tell that the part that's closest to the ears also has this interesting additional material that makes it bendable and it's kind of a memory wire so that you can wear it over your ears and it stays in place if you're moving around jogging for sports or if you're an artist listening to music on stage and performing at the same time. Now because of the aluminum alloy construction they are very sturdy and they're also quite hefty in terms of weight. You'll definitely notice these when you are wearing them but at least the construction quality really is top notch. It is a unibody build as well, so the aluminum extends even on the back of the earbud, so it feels cold to the touch. Let's move on to the audio quality and performance. So after listening to music on these for you know a few hours, the takeaway is they have a slight V-shaped sound. And what that means is it has a tendency to push bass and treble over mids. What that means is bass is really impressive. In fact, if you're a bass head, I think you would find these to be very pleasing because you can feel the bass, especially on EDM tracks, action films, uh, in the lower frequency and range, it definitely shakes. So in contrast, the mids, such as vocals, it doesn't sound quite as punchy or you know quite as uh, ac accentuated because it tends to prefer those bass and low notes in terms of the sound mix. But uh, overall, again, it still is very impressive and uh, it's shocking, in fact, because these things are so small, but they pack such a punch in the low frequencies. Uh, also, the highs and the treble, again, sounds really good. It's also quite clean. It's crystal clear, so if you're listening to higher notes by singers, vocals, and instrumentals, it also comes across as extremely detailed and nuanced. It truly is an audiophile grade, a bass head uh, kind of certified pair of IEMs, which is again surprising at the super low price point. Otherwise, uh, potential weaknesses, again, these are not really geared as maybe sports-specific headphones because, again, there are wires in the first place, and whenever you move around, there is a little bit of noise caused by the wire jumping on your shirt. But more than anything, it shows that even with something that's pretty low cost uh, and a relatively unknown brand, at least from our channel here, you can also produce some very high quality sounding earbuds even without things like a Sony high-res audio certification. So again, I think that the Revel Next have done a great job with the QT2 uh, in that regard. So you can check out more details about these in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews, a very impressive sounding pair of triple driver in your headphones that really doesn't break the bank and is truly worthwhile if you care about sound quality and want to upgrade the listening experience with your smartphone and three player or even computer. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.